Hello. Okay, so this is uh, just past midnight on the 18th of July, Tuesday. So uh, this is the follow-up video to last week where I made a schedule and then I posted it uh, to see if I would be held, account held accountable by, by posting it online. And I it was an epic fail, I'm afraid. Uh, I just completely failed it. Uh, it was um, a plan to get up like at 6 a.m., and I was going to do the exact same routine every day. And uh, the first day, I didn't didn't wake up at 6 a.m. And basically, I just... That was downhill from there. Um, I made another video where I was, like, really angry at myself. and I'm, I'll, But I couldn't be bothered. I'm, I'm going to upload that on another day because... I just want to be positive about it now because... Um, I've made a new schedule for this week. On the first day, which was Monday, I've done everything that I said. And it was, like, 10 hours of work. And I'm very happy today, I'm very proud, because I was so pissed at myself for getting that last week, you know, going to all the trouble to post something online and then not follow through, I was just so angry at myself that I was like, right, I'm not doing that anymore. And um, the other thing is, instead of getting up early, I'm just going to accept that I'm just like, for at least for, the, for now, I'm just one of those people who's a, uh, I'm a night owl, really, uh, and... Um, if I'm going to be going out doing gigs at the weekend anyway, there's no point trying to fight that. There's lots of successful people who uh, stay up late. As long as I don't, like, drink, then I'm fine. You can stay up late. That's when it gets a bit messy, I think, with musicians. It's like, if you stay up late and you're a night owl and then your productive hours come and you're, you've drunk, drunk alcohol from the gigs and that's not good. That was never working for me. Um just absolutely destroys productivity and that's what makes the that's what brings like the sort of frustration is when you're where it's like you've just you know you basically can't keep it to a timetable but this what what i've done for this week i've, ju I've just made instead of like tr trying to do the same thing every day i'm just gonna say do all my work monday to wednesday and i've worked out right if i do if I do like 10 hours work every day, Monday to Wednesday, and I've already done one day, if I, if I keep to this, then I will have done more work on my album in three days than I have in 30 days, which is amazing. But I, I've been keeping stats on what I've been working, so that's very motivating to me because I can, um, I can then be like, as soon as Thursday comes, I can just say Thursday to Sunday as time to go on like walks, time to go to the gym a bit more, time to be so, a bit social more. Because that's the thing, I I pre previously never allowed myself to have a social life because I kept on fucking up these schedules. But now it's like, well, if I can get it done Monday to Wednesday, and there's not that much going on in Leeds Monday to Wednesday, and that means, you know, I can start, you know, even if I do get up at two, I can stay up till about one or two, or three even, because I'm not going to be going to wanting to go to a venues or clubs or and there's nothing that's going to distract me. This feels a lot better. This plan. So um, I'm going to obviously post another video next week to say if I kept to this. I'm definitely going to keep to this one now. Absolutely, because I was so annoyed. But anyway, let me just write down the lessons that I've got here. Three lessons for this week. Uh, of course, I will be feeling a little an anxious, depressed if I am fucking up. Uh, why would I feel good about slacking off? Um, blaming the habit of procrastination uh, to stay in victimhood. It's, uh, it's just like a loser thing to do. It's okay to be annoyed at myself instead of going into the passive meh of victimhood. Uh, just, I think I'm not like passive like but in but in certain contexts i can get passive um like you know when i'm doing my gigs and stuff and i'm driving around and i'm sorting everything out i'm like really on point but sometimes when i don't have a something to do i can fall into that like meh oh it's just like this is just free time and it's not free time um so uh, yeah so yeah don't try and get rid of the procrastination instead be with it and that's what I was doing today. I was just like, well, I started the day with a fear release, which was basically, I think one of the reasons why I'm not following through uh, is because there's a lot of fear around 
uh, putting this album out fear overwhelm uh, it's, it's kind of like if I put something out I'm more likely to be seen I realize that's what like you do like these shadow questions when you write down what does success mean and I wrote down it means more responsibility that's it means more people looking at you it means more people judging you and that is like a lot of fear that causes the self-sabotage because then by self-sabotaging myself I don't have to face the uh, the fear all the, all these different fears that I kind of like have I basically I, in the so in the morning I did a fear release and I felt them um, and then I uh, just tried to be with them and uh, it felt really good and then when I started working I was just like I did some like I basically I mostly like did like an hour stood up doing like stuff on the cue base and then I would sit down for an hour and do songwriting and I got into a really nice flow of like standing up sitting down standing up sitting down then in every two hours I'd go for a little walk outside you know drinking like water every hour or two and uh, it felt really good and I've just finished today so um, what else did I have here? Yeah, limiting the work to only three days gives me a sense of excitement that I can get it done and then relax later in the week. And I saw this in a in a video where this, someone was recommending it. It's like there's a lot different people who have different strategies for their motivation. Some people like to do the same thing every day. Like I've heard a lot. Some people do like do four, four hours every day, and that's their thing. I don't think it, it works for for my kind of musician schedule though. Because on the days when you have gigs and then I get a play, I get thrown off and then you, the whole what the hell effect kicks in where you just, you fuck the whole plan. Um, instead of making a plan that is just, it's not about being a perfectionist, it's just about sort of getting quite a bit of work done on the days that you're free and then giving yourself the rest of the time off to relax. Um yeah, so yeah, limiting the work to only three days gives me a sense of excitement that I can get it done and then relax later in the week. And number three, I don't have to get up at 6 a.m. to be productive. Lots of people stay up late and are successful. Everyone can break the self help rules sometimes. I'll just go experiment with them, so I'll just continue doing that. So that's the end of the video. Cheers.